Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a simple Node database video gallery using PHP. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Let us start by putting all the video files in a gallery folder. Then, create the gallery page itself. Add a div wrapper for the gallery. Using the PHP glob function, get a list of video files in the gallery folder. Loop through the file list and output the video files. By default, the list will contain the full path of the video files. To extract the file name only, we use the base name function. Then, turn it into a relative URL by adding the gallery path. Use the raw URL encode function to make sure that it is a proper URL. Lastly, turn these into video tags. With the HTML in place, let us add some CSS to turn this into a proper gallery. Set the gallery wrapper to grid layout, 3 videos per row. Automatically resize the video thumbnails with 100% width. Optionally, we can also set a fixed height. Change the resize behavior with object fit, cover. Lastly, add responsive support. Change the layout to two images per row on small screens. The gallery is nearly complete, let us now add the full screen toggle. 
On window load, we will run an init function. Get all the gallery videos, and attach click listeners. If the video does not contain a full CSS class, we will toggle it into full screen. Add a full CSS class to the selected video. And show the video controls. To show a video in full screen, we literally set it to 100% viewport width and height. Set it to fixed position. Give it a high Z index, so it stay on top. Set an opaque background color. Finally, set the resize behavior to scale down, so the video will not exceed its original dimensions. With that, let us add a button to close the full screen video. Anchor it to the top right corner of the screen. But we only want to show this button when a video is in full screen, so let's hide it by default. Then, use another CSS class to toggle the visibility. Back to the JavaScript, we modify the toggle function to close a full screen video. Basically, show in full screen when a video is passed in. Stop full screen when false is passed in. Set the close button to toggle false. Show or hide the close button when the toggle function is called. If false is passed in, we get the current full screen video. Else, use the video that is selected. Toggle the full CSS class on the video as usual. Then, show and hide the controls accordingly. If we are closing full screen, pause the video.
At this stage, we have a fully functioning gallery. This is an optional step to use the file name as the caption. As you already know, we can get the file name using the base name function. Using the substring function, we can further strip out the file extension. Wrap the video tag in a div. Add the caption. If you want to sort the videos in ascending order, use the sort function. To sort in descending order, use R sort instead. As for sorting by the date, use U sort to define a custom sort. Return the file with earlier timestamp to sort by newest first. Vice versa, return the file with later timestamp to sort by oldest first. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.